Hello everyone, welcome to my review of the new Nuka World DLC settlement building items. So I've been spending the better part of the evening in the Nuka World DLC. It just it came out today and I've been looking at all the new stuff. I, you have to actually go to Nuka World to get most of it. Um, a few things are available before you go, but barely anything. And it's a little difficult to find them. So, the Nuka World decorations will be in the new tab entitled Nuka World. And when you first, when you first load up your game after you install the DLC, there will only be... Let me just... Um, miscellaneous, I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'll just show you. I'll show you everything that it has, and I'll tell you which ones are not available until you get to Nuka World. Basically, most of this. So, we've got some cutouts, different ones. So, these are kind of cool. You can decorate with. We've got, these are not available until you go to Nuka World. So we got different colors of these, then you got some some that you have to be a certain height, you know, and there's all the different colors of those. And then we got these. <laughs> these are cut out bushes. They they're just I guess, I don't know. Like you could put them in your vault, I guess. <laughs> sort of a makeshift. So then you got um, here, let me let me put up a let me quickly put up a a wall so that you can see the uh, the new signs. Come on. Okay, come on. I forgot to put this up beforehand. Sorry about that. Okay. Whoops. I'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> So we got a red employees only sign. Uh, it's similar to the green one, except it's got Nuka Cola, Nuka Cola on it. Are you kidding me? It's gonna rain? Of course it's gonna rain. So then we got this signpost. Now this can be seen in Nuka World, and you can attach all of these different signs to it, facing different angles. So that's cool. You see, you got first aid, refreshments, information, um, rides, this is games, restroom. Sorry about that. Gift shop and theater. You got all that. Okay, let me uh, let me quickly get rid of this bad weather. Don't need no bad weather. Anywho, there we go. You can see it a little better now. So yeah, that's just a lot of the cool stuff. And what else do we have here? We've got these. These are cool, kind of. Different different things that you can put on your buildings. Different enter signs, exit signs. Oops. Plus we've got this big information sign. And clothes required to ride. <laughs> Think of others. Um, what's that say? Keep hands and feet inside the vehicle, and if you spit from this ride, you may be removed from the park. So those are the new signs that you get. Then we've got Nukacade stuff. Now this is cool. If you want to build your own arcade, Red Menace Hack a 
Hakakami. Okay. <laughs> Hakakami. Atomic rollers. Um, shoot. This one's huge. Nuka zapper range. And we've got a token dispenser. And we've got the balls for the atomic roller. And the basketballs for the basketball hoop. Oh, there's a few more signs. So there's a ticket. Ticket sign. Blah. Tickets. Games. And prizes. Come on. Get on. Ah. Get on there. Tickets, games, and prizes. You can build your own little carnival, which is pr pretty cool. Um, as you can see, they power up. Here, let's see. And uh, you can insert a token, which you collect. And I guess you can shoot these. Except I don't have the right gun. I need one with a bullet. Oh, pff. come on. Uh, I don't know what they're for. I think you need a certain gun, but yeah, I haven't done a whole lot in Nuka World yet. So I haven't actually even gone into the Nuka Cave yet. My ball ran off. My ball ran off. So, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Oh yeah, I'm really good at this. Anyway. Gives you tokens. You can also find these all over Nuka World in the gas stations. And... Not gas stations. I meant to say... Trash cans. The trash cans are awesome in Nuka World. They have tons of stuff in them. <laughs> Alright, that's all that for that one. Then from the Kitty Kingdom you have the throne. Put that in your overseer's office. You know? So then you also got park map. This is the map of Nuka World. You've got this big globe thing. That might look cool on top of something. <laughs> and then you've got a billion of these different poses of these bottle and cappy statues all over the place. All different poses. And my favorite. My favorite! Look at this! Look at this, everybody! Urgh. Cash registers! Oh my gosh! You can put stuff in them. They don't, you know, work other than that. But man, cash registers! Finally, our counters look like can look like stores. It took them long enough. They're red because they're from Nuka World, but still, who cares what color they are, right? I am so happy about this. And this is cool. I think this is cool. Plus, the different garbage cans from Nuka World. There's some with trash in them and some that aren't. Don't have trash in them. Then you got these big bottle-shaped trash cans. And... Some bumper cars. Two colors. And Nuka World flag pole. Unfortunately, the flags don't flap, so you can't actually see what they look like, but whatever. It's a flag pole, and I think that's awesome. Speaking of flag poles, um, I think, I can't remember where they were. Uh, yeah. I don't think they're... Here, yeah, here they are. These flagpoles are available before you go to Nuka World. There's one for each of the factions. Brotherhood of Steel, the Institute... Oops. The Minutemen. Railroad, which I didn't join in this playthrough. And the good old American flag here. So, cool. I have been wanting these for a long, long time. So, yay, we have flagpoles. I wish they were the flapping flags, but yeah. Anyway, those are available without going to Nuka World. 
They're available right at the beginning. Um, there's no new posters or signs or anything in here. There's nothing new in that one. There's no new floor coverings or display cases. Um, there is one piece of new furniture. No, well, no, there's two pieces of new furniture so far. And you guys, you know, I... I think, I think anyways. Yeah. It's, um... This. It's, it's a red umbrella table. So we have the blue, I think it was blue. The one that we had before was blue. This one. So, we got a red one now. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> And also we have a new chair to go with that table. It's the it's the lawn chair, only it's red, so it matches the table. We don't have any new beds and no new containers or shelves. And I don't think we have anything new in here. No. Now, I don't know, we may get new, more new stuff than this as you go further on into Nuka World. I'm not sure, because I've only just begun the main quest and basically met some of the faction or raider groups, leaders, and stuff. So, I don't know, there might be more than this that gets unlocked later, but for now, that, that's an awful lot of stuff and some of it can be really fun, so... Also, in addition to these things, there's a whole bunch of new clutter that's not craftable, but you can pick it up, and I have it over here to show it off to you guys. First of all, we have a lot of new clothing items, and this is probably not even all of them. These are just the ones that I've collected so far. We've got a um, fancy suit and tie, and this is what one of the raider gangs wear with armor on top of them. So I guess you can put armor on top of these, which is cool. And the male and female ones look different. I only had one, so I couldn't uh, display what the male one looked like, but anyway. And then we've got different um, Nuka t-shirts. So we got some Nuka World t-shirts, the green version, the green version with a coat, blue version with a white coat, and there's the blue version without the coat. And then we got this Nuka World fountain jacket and jeans. So, yeah. All these different ones. And they're just... Uh, they're not... They do have some armor and stuff, but not a lot. They're not, like, super good. And um, I imagine, though, you can put... At least probably over these ones, you can probably put armor over these... These don't have armor. I guess it's the jacket that armors it. <laughs> so yeah, don't uh, quote me on that though because I don't know if you can put armor over these. You probably can. They're just t-shirts. Anyway, so that's so far the clothing that I've found. Not including like armor and stuff. This is just clothes that I've picked up. I haven't killed anybody yet, so except this person, but they were at the beginning. I had to kill them. And it just happened to be able to grab them, their clothes, real quick. Anyway, so these are the new items that I have found so far. There might be more. Red paint. I don't recall red paint ever. I've found cans of blood in the Commonwealth before that looked just like this, but they were cans of blood, not red paint. So correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think there has been red paint in the Commonwealth yet before. Uh, there was green, blue, and yellow, but not red. But yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. I have never found any. Also, this little lab bottle, I've never found one of these before, and I have, you know, pretty much found pr probably everything there is to find in the Commonwealth. So I thought this was cool. It has a little neck on it. Most of them are just beakers or something like that. Anyway, so then we've got trash, basically, pizza trays. Hot dog trays, burger trays, napkins, uh, Nuka Cola cup packs, Nuka Cola cup. Um, I think I have these on backwards, so yeah, they actually have a Nuka Cola on them. I didn't put them facing the right direction. 
a single one and then one with a with a straw and a lid on it. Then we've got souvenir mugs, souvenir drinking glasses, souvenir plastic bowls, and souvenir plates. So that's cool. New items to decorate with. And over here we've got souvenir toy car, so it's a red version of the toy car. Then we've got magnets. And I don't actually know if you can stick these on metal. So we've got a little frog magnet, a flower magnet, a cow magnet, and a magnet badge. And there might be more than this. These are just the ones that I've found so far. And then we've got some new stuffed animals, a souvenir sloth, for some reason, <laughs> and two different teddy bear types, which are kind of creepy looking. But I think they've been raiderized. <laughs> Oops. This one especially. They've been kind of... Yeah, raiderized. <laughs> a lot of the raiders actually wear these on their armor. I don't know why. Anyways, you guys. So far, that is it. I'm probably going to be finding more stuff because I've really only explored the very beginning of Nuka World Park. And so, yeah, I've not gone into all the areas of Nuka World yet. So I'm looking forward to seeing what else I'm going to find. And I'm going to have tons of fun decorating with these because I actually could put these in my toy store in Abernathyville. I actually have a lot of shelf space yet that I just could not find anything else to put in it. And now I do. I have a, a whole bunch of new toys. Plus, you know, these would look good in a cafe type setting. So I'm really excited about that. And plus new clothes for the clothing stores and cash registers. <laughs> this also is going to be fun. I think this is cool. I don't know if you can assign people to these, though. No. They wouldn't make it, you know, usable, but, you know, whatever. Anyway. Yeah. These trash cans. Loot all the trash cans in Nuka World, everybody. They are filled with ammo and caps and tokens and tickets. Yes. They're a wealth of stuff. <laughs> Anyway, that is about it, you guys. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be doing more videos about Nuka World, uh, tips and tricks probably when I, when I have a little bit more time to work with these things and figure out any cool stuff you can do with them. So stay tuned on my channel for more videos coming up in the near future of Nuka World. So until then, everybody, I will see you later. Remember to play safe, play nice, and have fun. Bye, guys.